To install protector line mechanical fittings, you will need a torque wrench with a 10mm Allen socket for sizes from 63mm to 125mm and a 14mm Allen socket for sizes from 160mm to 180mm. Note that the joining procedure varies slightly for the straight couplers and the rest of the protector line mechanical fittings. Firstly, ensure that the pipe ends are cut square. Next, mark the penetration depths. For the straight couplers, mark the required depth from the ends of the pipes to be joined as indicated in the following table. Next, push the insert into the pipe end or in the case of other fittings, push the fitting into the pipe end. For the couplers, slide the second pipe end onto the insert and then push the pipes together. Ensure that both pipes are up against the pipe stop of the insert and are correctly aligned. Centre the shell between the depth penetration marks. For other fittings, ensure that the half shells are flush with the pipe ends. Mark the position of the coupler on the pipes. The fitting is ready to be tightened. Set the torque wrench to the value indicated on the label of the shell. After initial hand tightening, fully tighten the hex socket head bolts until the set torque is achieved in each bolt. For the couplers, which have two bolts on the double width shell, tighten the bolts alternately and evenly. Leave the pipe to relax for a minute or more, then re-tighten the bolts to the set torque again. Repeat the relaxing and re-torquing process again until less than a quarter turn is needed to reach the set torque. It's normal for the re-torquing process to be conducted three to four times over the course of five minutes, but a longer allowance for relaxation between re-torquing may be needed in extremely cold weather, where 10 to 15 minutes may be needed for the complete installation process. The joint is now complete. Note that the pipe is swaged down onto the insert by the outer shell. 